Stanley and Ha just galloped by here. He was in the barn. And uh, so he wanted to see what's going on. Here I'm lounging with Lisa. The video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Look how they look. Now, this is their menorah pile. Let me go to a nice... I thought they were going to run around and do something cute. That's why I started filming. Here at Ears Acres on Memorial Day weekend. The mule, the donkeys have lived here one year. Look how pretty that looks with Stanley coming through. Good news on the some front that I haven't told you about. Um, Hi, honey. Stanley's a good guy. Okay, just... My friend Roseanne was saying she doesn't like when, like to be out in amongst free roaming equine. And I agree to an extent. Uh, what I don't like is like when you're riding them. Like say I was riding Stanley around here and these two were loose. It's a phone, Stanley, look at him. I just, I don't care for it. It just makes me a little nervous. So, I mean, cause really this, I'm in there, like he's the herd boss kind of now. In a way, we've been over this before. But if I'm standing with him, Stanley sure is very friendly to me lately. And watch, he'll plow me down. Um, yeah, he's a good mule. He's he's a good mule. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if I'm like, if they come up now or whatever, I would show my dominance, I guess you'd say. But I'm just sort of filming them so they can do. I was hoping they'd play. These two might. Anyhow, we're going to be able to close off part of this. Oh, Stanley's going to pee. Here's what a mule looks like peeing. Same as a donkey. Aren't you cute? Uh, Joel and I did some work down here today. We filled up the Iron City beer trough. And then Dino came along and I gave him some souvenirs from Mama Bear's. And a Jacqueline shot bag. And he just loved the Jacqueline shot bag. He loved Mom so much. It's very cute. Hi. And blah, blah, blah. But we got to talking to him because... um. It's appropriate to do, talk to somebody when they own the land where your animal is. No, I'm kidding. Um, because Joel's going to be fixing the um, outbuilding, which I kind of call the goose house now. and Because it leaks, totally. So, he's going to do the work if Dino buys the material. So, they've arranged that. And then, we talked to Dino about these little donkeys. And really, ponies and... Stanley, to an extent, they um, can founder pretty easily on just spring grass and fall grass. And there's certain times of the day you should really leave them out, and, you know, all this stuff. So we did get permission um, to go ahead and close off an area. I'm really not sure exactly where I think it's... Well, I know it's over there. I'll show you on my way out of here. But, um, yeah, so we'll get started on that, you know, ASAP, really. And then... Like I told Dino, when it gets to be even summer, summer, like Stanley got here end of July last year, it's not quite as hideous if, you know, we needed to take it down or something. It's spring grass and fall grass. It can be detrimental. I mean, especially to small, shorter equines, I guess you'd say. <clears throat> and the blacksmith was pretty concerned about it because, I mean, he would be with any animal no matter what their age. But these donkeys are babies. They're like under four years old. I almost bet my boots on it and those are nice boots so I mean I think they're probably two and a half we'll find out Tuesday when the equine dentist comes so anyhow I'm pretty relieved about that because I've been worried for a long time about it um you know and like I said the two important times are spring and fall there's somebody coming down the road and I hope I think it's a bike yeah we're gonna see what they'll do I'll just I'm just filming and talking but it's so pretty out here with the buttercups and everything. It's very, it's beautiful here. And we're going to be doing some round pen work. Like Joel's going to, uh, what's it called? Weed whack it, get it ready. And then I'm going to start working them in there. That's going to be there. Hello there. Hello. I don't think, I guess no one can see me. I'm in a bright pink shirt standing in the pasture with donkeys. And now we're flying. No reply at all, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, they're going to play. Stanley's been in the mood to play. Uh, yeah, so that's the game plan. You know, the little obstacles I have them step over and everything. They're going to 
I'll move all that into here like a tire, and I can work them individually, and, you know, not be leading he over it. I was showing Dino and his son, Anthony, all the progress that little he has made. And, of course, Stanley and Hall want to get right there, and it was up where I have that little, I don't know, what do you, not really a jump, but a step set up, a couple of steps. And, um, yeah. I showed them, but it was just a pain because they, you know, they're loose and around you. I know what Roseanne means totally. I don't care for it either, Roseanne. I'll be sending another video. It's just, you know, a little dangerous too because they can accidentally be, like, say, Stanley could be acting like the herd leader toward Han, like kick out a leg, and I could be involved. These guys are like, what are you doing, woman? Okay, I'm going to pause and probably go over. They'll probably follow me. They, Stanley's, like, in love with me lately, which is good. Um, wait, do I have a treat in my pocket? I do, here. Yeah, I know you're not supposed to feed him that way, but I do. Not Stanley. Okay, I'll show you where I think we're gonna do some blocking off. Pausing. I told you, I'm following. You're a sweet mule, you know it? Oh, good boy, he knows when to stop too. That's right, you stand right there and I approach you. Very good, Stanley. Now that's, you know, that's something I had to work on with him because he can get pushy. Oh, no, that's it. Uh-uh. I think in this area, I'm not sure, like, put a fence over there. I'm, I'm totally not sure, but all I know is it'll be a smaller area. They can still get a little grass. And, um, you know, this area, and they can run into the shelter. And the lawnmower guy can get in still. So, that's good. But you know why I didn't really catch on to what was happening because I was busy hanging a sign up which I'm going to show you right now is this mule following me alright Stanley I'll be right back pausing it's very green down here there's Edna I tend to bloviate when I haven't made a video in a day Dino said I got this sign and I put it up and I think it's absolutely darling and I hope you can see it because I'm into the sun so I put it up there while they were visiting, and so I wasn't sure of the total details. I think the mule left already. Um, but I think it's going to be over kind of where he is. And just enough for them to get stuff and get it away from each other and not overeat. And we put that um, Iron City thing it's, uh, there on the corner filled with water. So it is officially spring here, Deer's Acres, and here comes... He, oh, I'll see if he goes over the obstacle. He, you gonna go over the obstacle? I need to go soon because I forgot to bring a little food. And um, I really don't want to eat carrots again that haven't really been peeled or anything. So, here comes Haw. I'll just stand here into the sun. Oh, there's Stanley. He was in the barn. You can't really see. They go in there to roll. He's getting a drink out of the buckets. Stanley, as I put a couple of buckets back there, too. And that that's why Joel came down uh, Mick came down too he just arrived which I've been wanting him to do but I was kind of preoccupied I felt sort of bad I couldn't dedicate a lot of time because her patch can't come down a whole lot and when he does it just worked out really well too I'm really grateful that Dino was here and his son and we got to straighten out this and I'm very relieved ladies and gentlemen so okay well I'm gonna sign off uh, here on lounging with Lisa the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. For the love of everything lovable, drop your political identities. You know what else I'm going to say? Turn off that damn TV and don't believe anything on the news. Okay. Uh, well, leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler when he had to say, please, I'm begging you. Oh, Stanley looks really cute. Don't believe the news. I mean, how many times can they lie to you and you still believe them? You know, remember how uh, babies uh, were being dropped on the floor or something and in the first Gulf War? I can't keep track of all the wars, okay? But, you know, somebody got up to testify that this was happening and all this, we just had to go in there and to Iraq and or Kuwait or something. I can't remember at this moment, but... It was Bush the Elder who was president. It turned out to be complete male bovine excrement, which a lot of people knew from the start, but 
you know, years later it came out, but people still believe the damn news. I'm really getting wound up about it. Oh, they're going to get cute now. I mean, I just, and you have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, like three or four people, theoretically, you know, just, just theoretically, we'll say five people could be in charge of all the information you're hearing, period, end of story, because all of these, you know, corporate news outlets and magazines and this and that, if you follow the yellow brick road up to their CEOs, they're all connected, and you don't even have to go down rabbit holes like I go down in terms of conspiracy theories, as some call it. Anyone's a conspiracy theorist who questions any official narrative. You know, pearls are clutched massively, and you're called names. Well, anyhow, uh, yeah. So, do you want to get information from an elite, rich, one percenter that could care less about you and your family? Think about it. These two have, and they've, they've given up the corporate news. Okay, well, I'm going to go after that lecture. I doubt anyone's going to stay at the video long enough to hear it. Let me know if you heard the lecture. Just say, put in the comment lecture. I'll probably say that I ranted at the end, and people will just fast forward to it. They love it when I rant. What are you two doing? I mean, you know, come on. What do I have to lose? Friends, come on. They ditched me a while ago. No, they didn't really. Some did, probably. Because you can't question narratives. People just think you're crazy. It's very deep, ladies and germs. Okay, over and out. I am done officially at almost 12 insane minutes. Bye.